what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is ivy nganga if this is your first time on my channel welcome to my channel today i am excited to be back with another video this is another valentine's look today we're going to be doing a night look um i had really hoped to do a day look for you guys but i got a bit busy so i'm thinking i'll probably do it next week and i'll just post it as a normal video because obviously valentine's will have already passed um, yeah, so I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I post a video. So if you would like to see how I achieved this look, please continue watching this video. So we're going to start with primer as always. I had already applied like a moisturizer before. So I'm just going to massage that into the skin. This is the Maybelline Pore Minimizing Primer. I love it because it does blur out my pores. I love the way it feels. It just has this smooth feeling as opposed to, you know, like a mattifying one. My mattifying one is actually quite dry. Sorry guys, I forgot to show you my foundations. But this is the Maybelline Super Stay in the shade, I think, Cappuccino. It is Cappuccino actually, 340 which is cappuccino so i apply two foundations now i start with the darker one on the outer parts of my face then go in with a lighter one on the inside areas of my face i like doing this because i feel like it gives my face dimension um it feels like i'm kind of contouring and highlighting even before i actually contour and highlight um it also helps just to minimize the amount of product i use because if i do this and i'm satisfied with the coverage i don't have to go in with concealer so i'm now going in with a lighter foundation this is maybelline superstay in the shade golden caramel that should be number 332 i hope i'm not wrong so I'm just using the same brush because I kind of just did not wash my other brushes. But also I kind of like mixing mixing them up because when they mix up on the brush, it's I don't know, it just gives me a good kind of shade and I like it. So I always use the same brush. So I just blend that all over my face. I kind of went in with a lot of product actually. But also, my lighting was a bit off, so sorry about that, guys. I kind of noticed it just when I was editing, and I really wanted to put up a video. I'm kind of trying not to allow perfection to drag me back, okay? We're trying to be consistent here, so just bear with me. It was not that light in real life. It's because of the lighting, just so you know. Um, after doing that, I just took... Um, my blender once again like I said after I use a brush I just go in with a blender this is a dry blender I don't use a damp one anymore just because I, I realized it sucks in a lot of my products and I want a full coverage so yeah that's why I'm using a dry one I'm not going in with espresso the pro concealer illegal pro concealer in the shade espresso I just love the shade of this espresso concealer I cannot believe I did not buy it sooner. I have been using Beautiful Bronze and to be honest, I did not really like the way it was looking. This one just looks really good. Um, now that I'm editing and looking at this, I'm realizing I should have probably not added concealer just because everything was well covered. But you know, I went in with a bit more concealer. That is the Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. Yeah, that's Cool Tan. So next I'm just blending out the concealer, the espresso one, all around my face, contouring, bronzing. It just feels like it's a contour and a bronzer all in one because of the red tint in it, which I really love. Um, I, as you can see, it's really bringing back a bit of color to my face, which is something that I really love. So with makeup, like I always say, Take your time with blending. Um, I really had to do a lot of blending with this look. I just had to remove some parts because we do not want this video to be too long. But yeah, I hope that you are following the steps and are learning something. I, yeah, what did I do? I blended that out. I blended the concealer. That is what I mean. Off camera, I'm just going over it again with a blender because you always have to do that to make sure that there is no product that is unblended. Is that even a word? Yeah, you get what I mean. Next up is the eyes. I did my eyebrows off camera just because I was kind of in a hurry 
and yeah, it was taking too long. I'm going in with that brown color um, for my outer corner and I did not realize it was going to be that pigmented but that kind of happens when you use an eyeshadow primer. So if you want to see some color payoff, you guys, like I always say, again, make sure you use an eyeshadow primer. So I did not really expect it to be that dark, but we will work with it. It will still work for the look that I'm going for. I'm just blending that color out um, just to make sure it's properly blended before I go in with my next color. Lastly, in the blending area, I just took a brush that had um, leftover product. This is just an eyeshadow like with the reddish, maroonish kind of color. I like using that to blend, but like a lighter one. It's like a light maroonish color. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, you get the point. So lastly, I'm going to go in with that golden color. I know just because of the lighting, once again, um, it's not really visible. It looks silvery, but it's actually golden. Um, once I blend it completely, you will be able to see. I love blending it out with my finger. I was just trying it out actually because sometimes when I blend it out with my finger, I'm not sure I like the way it looks. I feel like it's just too messy. But today, I was kind of digging the messy look. It actually turned out pretty pretty well also maybe it's just because of the warmth of the finger again the moment you use your finger to blend out product because of the warmth it actually blends out properly so that could be the case so i just applied that all over my lid just using my finger this time i did not go in with a brush making sure that i just um put it in the exact places i want it yeah um, lastly, I just took a brush, the brush that had the dark brown color, to blend the two together, make sure that there is no big difference between the two colors. Then did my lashes off camera because, again, I just was feeling like this video was already too long. Um, I'm just going to use the black opal to set my under eyes, not just my under eyes, but like everywhere I put concealer, which is my under eyes, around my forehead. Yeah, and all that jazz just to make sure everything stays into place. I like doing that as the last step nowadays, just so that I can allow my makeup to settle to yeah, to settle in the skin. That's exactly what I need to say. And then yeah, when I apply it, I feel like it lasts longer. So that's why I don't apply powder immediately nowadays. I just wait for the makeup to settle a bit to be absorbed into the skin and then I set everything. Of course, I also do that on my forehead and the rest of my face. Sometimes if I don't use this for the rest of my face, okay, I actually really use this for the rest of my face. I always use my press powder. So after doing that, I just go in with blush. I did not actually go in with blush. This is eyeshadow from the Morphe palette still. Oh yeah, I forgot to even tell you guys that's the Morphe Extremes Charles palette, but anyway. Um, I applied too much, blended it out. It blended out really well. I was happy with how everything turned out in the end. Um, it wasn't looking crazy. Um, so those are the colors that I'm using. I actually forgot to show you before, but yeah, I remembered later on. So that pink and that orange color just mix them up. Um, use the brush. Then I'm now going over it with a blender, just as always, to make sure it's properly blended. And I was happy with how it was looking. Lastly, we go in with highlighter. I'm just using that goldish color from my Root Cosmetics palette. Um, applying in the area just above the blush. Yeah, just above the blush. Um, I don't like going in with like a whole line of highlighter nowadays. I just learned a new technique of applying my highlighter. So that's what I always do. Of course, I don't forget the bridge of my nose then I take a bigger brush and just try and blend it out a bit more just to make sure it's not just a line of highlighter if you know what I mean so after blending it out I did my lips off camera because I got a call that got me a bit distracted um so yeah this is the final look you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry it was not really like the best video it was a bit all over the place but yeah don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe to my channel let me know if this is a look you can rock for valentine's 
i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much thank you for your support i will see you guys in my next one bye